This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's ZapDoseTCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with the updated Mew Mew list. Everybody loves Mew to a Mew Tag Team GX, being able to rely on the perfection ability and copying any GX attacks or uh, yeah attacks from GX Pokemon in our discard pile or on our bench. So that's fantastic to try out. This time around we're uh, not playing the Wilder version, so it's a Psychic version with Malamar. Why would we ever compare Malamar uh, with uh, Mew Mew? Because Mew Mew does have uh, the access to Wilder and all that stuff. Well, thanks to the first turn supporter rule, Welder is not all that powerful with Mew Mew anymore, so that's why we rely to the attack Nice Watch. This is a handlock deck, so what we're gonna try and do is spam the new supporter Marnie. Marnie makes sure that the opponent has four cards in the hand. Both player for, players shuffle their hand into their deck. Uh, actually, not shuffle their hand into their deck, that's like and, uh, just shuffle their hand and put them on the bottom of the deck. The opponent gets four cards, we get five cards. So, very, very insane card. It's basically like Judge on steroids. It's a very insane card. So uh, we also have the new Supporter Professor's Research, discarding our hand and draw seven. So getting our little in case up and rolling will be easy. Why are we still running Ditto? Well, that's because Nagnadal is uh, yeah being able to brought out thanks to a Ditto Prism Star. That is necessary for the Obstagoon matchup. So desperately uh, get your Ditto as early as possible and then uh, evolve into Nagnadal as quickly as you can. Uh, the good thing is that we have lots of searches. Uh, we have Cherish Ball, searching out your GXs, Quick Ball, searching out your basics and then four treasures searching out your dragon and psychic type pokemon we're gonna try and get a couple of malamars up and then uh, with mew mew we can copy either the attacks of uh, all of our pokemon and discard pile for instance sky judgment of dragon edge can come in clutch against a lot of uh, decks we also have gengar and mimikyu if you go uh, second and the opponent only has one basic choose horror house gx that means we can uh, dunk opponents which is also fun with this deck now we have the new Ndidi. This is a, a Pokemon which we cannot use the attacks of because it's a V Pokemon. But this is in here for the Mimikyu. Mimikyu can shut down the perfection ability with things like a, a Galarian Zigzagoon. Well, with Watch Over, we can heal 20 damage from our active and that will uh, get rid of that damage counter so we can still rely on uh, the perfection ability. But what else is in here? Absol to slow down the opponent if they run a Jirachi engine. Very uh, straightforward. We have. The Megalupani and Jigglypuff, uh, definitely good against Picaram if they have like three GXs in play, for instance, the Denizer or a Picaram. That's gonna be fantastic. Uh, what else is in this last? Uh, of course, Venom Shot is able to target opponents on the bench as well. And uh, what we're gonna try and do is uh, use Night Watch as uh, early as our second turn. So, what we're gonna do, set up some Malamars the turn afterwards, get energies to either Straven and Dustmore or a Mew Mew, and then use Night Watch. But before we use uh, the Night Watch attack, we're gonna spam Marnie. Use Marnie, use Night Watch, and the opponent will be left with only two cards in the hand. So, uh, we have Chaotic as well. So, uh, uh, things like Power Plant can also not disrupt Mew Mew. Also, great uh, yeah, stadium cards like Thunder Mountain cannot come in play. Lysander Labs can also not shut down our tool cards. We are going to rely on the Air Balloon, uh, making the retreat cost two less. That means Malamars have free retreat. Mew Mew has free retreat. A lot of the Pokemon in this deck will have free retreat. And uh, the Big Charm, also fantastic, will make sure we have more HP. So uh, Mew Mew will then have 300 HP. Or your Malamars, which are almost knocked out by, by Snipe Damage, for instance, can get more HP. This is a simple tool card stating the Pokemon gets 30 extra HP. We only have one Gusting card in the form of Great Catcher, but with the help of a uh, Venom Shot and uh, yeah, the uh, Puff Smashers GX, sometimes we can uh, target down the opponent's Pokemon. But the good news is we're going to put the opponent to a low hand size, and that means we don't need Gusting because they will brick. So uh, we'll see how the, the matches will go. So we're going to try this new deck out, Mew Mew, a new way of playing. Okay. What can we say is that Mew Mew is a, seems to be very popular, has a great conversion rate. There was a Japanese tournament with uh, over 1,000 players and uh, that specific deck had a great conversion rate. So it has great matchups across the board. And uh, if you can get your setup correctly and put the opponent to a two card hand in the early phase of the game, you will most likely win. So I do suggest uh, in DDV, you have a great answer against Caldeo GX if that might come across uh, your path. So uh, that's uh, definitely uh, included in your list. In my early draft, I did not use Ndidi and uh, there was like a, a Mimikyu uh, shadow box and uh, Mew Mew could not do anything anymore. In this scenario, we have a switch, we have a Mew Mew, 
Okay, I don't know what we're up against and uh, getting energies to the bench is probably better. So I'm actually gonna promote Absol of all things and uh, keep Yumi on the bench, yeah. They could have great catcher in their opening hand, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, we have Mew Mew. We are weak against Psychic. You could include uh, Weakness Guard Energy. Okay, this is Pika Ram. Hopefully we can get it to a low hand size. We have Cherish Ball. This list does not run Sogaleo, the one with Turbo Strike. So we need actually more energies, although we can always go for the insane attack. Poltergeist. Okay, there's one GX. The opponent seems to be uh, not play. Yeah, he cannot play down supports, which is fantastic. So we're gonna go for a Cherish Ball. See what we have. We have Venom Shot. Always fantastic. We have the Dak Purge, which can help out a lot in this matchup. So we're gonna actually get this Latios Dak Purging against those uh, Lightning type decks will be fantastic. So let's get Latios on board, and uh, we're actually gonna not smack it down. We can actually switch to uh, the Latios, but it's not necessary in this matchup. We do have four switches. Do we smack down uh, Dustin and Trevenant? We only have two. Don't think we're uh, gonna need them. We can uh, use the attack with Mew Mew anyhow. So we're gonna just smack down at the Dene. Ta-da! Discarding all these Pokemon and let's see what we get. We have an NK. Fantastic. We're gonna smack down the NK. We already have a switch in hand. So we can go for the attack uh, of Gengar Mimikyu. That is a way we can go about this so the opponent cannot smack down any cards. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if we're able to do anything. So uh, we don't. Gonna, we're not gonna switch our Absol just yet. We're just gonna go for uh, Marnie. Goes to the bottom of the deck. We get some more cards. Okay. Galax well is fantastic just to put down. So Thunder Mountain cannot come and play. And uh, we can use Quick Ball, getting rid of Psychic Energy, which is good in this matchup. And find Ditto. I think the Ditto is the best way we can do it, go. And we can either evolve two of them, Malamar, and uh, hopefully we can go from there. The bad thing is that we don't have a Marnie in hand right now, but the opponent only has four cards in the hand as it is. So such a powerful supporter. Absol is still stuck in the active. The good news is he will not be able to get knocked out unless they uh, are getting out Zapdos and the Electra Power. So uh, we'll see what the opponent is doing. We still have lots of uh, ways to get around this. We have uh, the Air Balloon, so we're actually gonna set up Mew Mew to use the Night Watch on our second turn so we can get rid of two random cards of the opponent's hand. Probably gonna grab himself at the Dene. To, uh, yeah. Oh, it's Marshadow. Does he have the Thunder Mountain? Thunder Mountain, Guzma Hala? He will not have anything in the hand anymore. Ooh, scary. That is very scary. But he cannot actually use the Guzman Hala, get rid of that. He can use the Thunder Mountain. Uh, he does not get a special energy though. Okay, he has the energy. Does he have what it takes? Does he have what it takes to get this attack up and rolling? He needs an uh, energy switch. Okay, he has the energy switch. And uh, he's uh, gonna use Marshadow and smack down the Thunder Mountain. Okay. He's gonna get one card, uh, he's gonna destroy this Absol, which is fine by us. And then we uh, just need to make sure that the opponent doesn't have anything in hand. He's got, probably gonna use full blitz and get all the energies onto his Pika Ram. Presumably if I had to guess, because he will not have anything in the hand. Okay, he's just getting into the, to to the Tapu Coco. Okay, getting two Pokemon is probably better for him. Uh, two Malamars, the Dene. We're probably gonna get out of the active anyhow, either through an energy or... Yeah, that, uh, there is the energy. Okay. One Malamar. Actually gonna get one energy over here. Ah, right, we can get two of them in the discard pile. Do we go with that scenario? Either way, we only need one Malamar with the scenario. So we're gonna go for the Sycamore. Actually, yeah, Professor's Research. Oh yeah, there we go. Everything we asked for, actually wanted. Uh, yeah. Quick Bolt. Yeah, there seems to be a Dene priced, so what to do about that? But this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. No Malamars in sight. Too bad. Yeah, what to do about this? What to do? This looks very, very bad in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, we can each actually use the GX move of uh, Mewtwo to heal off all the damage. Might come in clutch. He's gonna smack 150. Will he have a Voltner in hand? He can go for the Tapu Coco. This actually does not look good. Okay. Yeah. 
he can take my ink. Wow, this is not looking good. Hopefully we'll be able to come back out of that one. Where are the Melamars? No treasures whatsoever in this matchup. Okay, he has a Jirachi. This makes it horrible. So full blitz. Okay, what now? Yeah, he's just setting up everything at this point. Hmm. Oh well. Ta-ta! Yeah, now we have a treasure. So irrelevant. So irrelevant. Yeah, let's get that one. Malamar, finally, after a bazillion years, we are able to get him out. Okay, we have a Mew Mew. Hooray! Shuffling. Uh, actually, should have not shuffled because, uh, yeah, right now we're in a, in a terrible position. We could have better cards now. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a Psychic Recharge, one under the Dene so we can retreat. I'm just gonna go for a yeah, Jumping Balloon, could smack a huge amount of damage, but the better play will be to use Nice Watch. Bam! Two random cards go away. Oh, the Dene, that's good. Will he have what it takes? Okay, he has Oranguru. And a tackle. Ooh, that engine is good. Who's Mahala? Probably gonna use the Oranguru's ability. Actually, I should not use the Marnie on the previous turn. Oh well. Oh well. We'll we win, we lose Boltner. Probably gonna see. Attack switch. And he's gonna smack for a huge amount of damage. He is. Yeah, attack switch. He's gonna get two prize cards with that. Alright. Still has not used any electro powers. Yeah, there goes our good friends, the Dene. Okay. So, what we need to do get one energy over here, go for a good old research, and use our GX move. Air balloon over there. Uh, yeah. Quick ball. Another Mew Mew. Let's see here. Cherish ball. We have so many cards in the hand. And another treasure. Not that it's gonna matter. Yeah, there's a stamp in there as well. Hmm. Interesting. Treasure. Psychic Recharge on the Mew Mew! Fantastic, so we are gonna set up another Mew Mew very quickly. And yeah, let's go. Pale Moon GX is also an option, but here comes the Miraculous Duo GX knocking this guy out. And now he needs three Electro Powers to finish the game. He might even have that, but we'll see. The only thing we need is a, a great catcher. To finish this game we can just use it on the uh, Alolan Raichu right there use great catcher knock it out with the attack of uh, Sky Duck Judgment of Dragonite did not even showcase Night Watch all too well yeah Guzma Hala that is not a Voltner which is good what is he gonna do hmm the good news is we have two Mew Mews ready so stellar wishing energy to this guy we do have lots of switches which is fantastic so hopefully this scenario will work out in our favor yeah he draws with the custom catcher what is he looking for electro powers he needs three two okay another custom catcher so he drew a bunch of cards now he can use stellar wish and oranguru he did not play any electro power so all of these cards are not electro power Oh, scary game. Scary game indeed. So Mew Mew. <laughs> I love playing with the Mew Mew. He could also smack us for damage and get Mimikyu out if he runs that. Or the Dene. Oh yeah. Oh, zap those. What's going on? Maybe he only runs one the Dene. Yeah, I did not see anything. Yeah. Or maybe it's priced. Zap those. Thunder Assault. Okay. 
Hello, Zapdos, good old favorite. Uh, what we are gonna do is actually use this treasure to get rid of this. We actually don't need any of these cards anymore. Treasure, let's get rid of Malamar. Don't need any of these cards. Psychic Recharge. Psychic Recharge. We only need one energy and a great catcher from the Marnie. Energy and a great catcher. Might as well use a switch while we're at it. And now here comes the Marnie. Come on. Oh boy. What is this? Not getting anything. Cadex well at least. We have a big charm. Air balloons. Actually the only thing we need is great catcher. Which is a funny thing about this. We can still have the energy with energy spinner. We can retreat and uh, we ha still have a switch left. So what we are gonna do, we can actually use Venom Shot. But this guy has way too much HP, unfortunately. Okay, we can use Venom Shot and then use Venom Shot again. Maybe that is the best plan of action. Otherwise we knock this guy out, not what we want. Yeah, let's go after the Raichu. Next turn, that guy is out of there. Okay, now he needs to gust. He has uh, thrown away two custom catchers. He switches to Jirachi. Faulkner, this guy has now 300 HP, which means he needs four Electro Powers. To oh, he has Great Catcher. Oh, no, 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 no. He will finish the game. Okay, that is well played. Okay, nothing we could have done about this, but uh, this looks to be like a close matchup. In our defense, uh, we whiffed on Malamar in a specific turn. Oh well, and we also whiffed on the great catcher on the Marnie. It is what it is. Let's try this deck out again. Mew Mew Handlock. It's actually very fun to play with. We have so many options. In this matchup we just bricked. Did not get what we wanted. Sometimes get that. Seeing no Malamars. <laughs> yeah. We got used to that playing Malamar. Seeing only Malamars on turn 5 or whatever. Okay, Lightning. Probably another peek around. Maybe we can have a revenge here. Snorlax, my dear, is the opponent. We lost the coin flip. It's actually not too bad. If he only has one Pokemon, that's good. A little Inkay. Cherish Ball. Yeah. Definitely have to go for the Dene GX. Seven cards in hand. Does he have a base? Okay, he has a basic. Throws away Great Catcher. Hmm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, getting out a Blitzel. Is this some kind of a weird stall deck? Reset stamp. So we saw Blitzel. Or is it Abilities Art? Oh, wow. Fancy. Oh, ADP. Oof. ADP with some Striker in there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Here comes the Cherish Ball for the the Dene. Gonna use the uh, effect here, getting hmm, three energies in the discard pile. Ta -da. Yeah, we're gonna get two of them. Might as well smack this down, get this up and rolling. We can attach with a turn and then retreat later. Yeah, just gonna throw everything away. Okay, we have air balloon. So let's get energy over here so we can manually retreat. Get a ditto. This is actually so sad. Uh, get an air balloon over here. Marnie is not the play here. He only has three cards in the hand. We need to go aggressively and find our stuff. Okay. Inke number two. We can get treasures. We can even switch, which is good. Probably just gonna go for uh, the insane attack. If we have three Malamars, still not enough. We can go for another Dedan next turn. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave it like this. We can also go for Pale Moon Jacks, which is fantastic.
Research. Oof. Snorlax. Ooh. This is a weird version. Okay, Zation V shows up. Quick ball. Huh. ADP Snorlax. And I haven't seen this build. I like while you can use like a ultimate ray on Snorlax, then use Snorlax VMAX to have like a huge tank. Get that? Is there room for metal saucers though? Ooh, Absol. Ooh, that is nasty. We do have switch in hand, so I'm not worried about it too much. Altered creation. He has already prepared with his striker though. Okay. We can use Stack Perch. So this guy cannot attack us. Okay. Quick ball first. We can have the Dene. Or we can have Nice Watch. Getting him in zero cards. Maybe that is the best plan of action. Quick ball. We can only get out one Malamar. So, yeah. Probably gonna go for the Dene either way. Treasure. LMR. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Mew Mew's getting prepared. Here we go. Second energy. What are we doing? What are we doing? Switching to Ditto with the air balloon. So it seems reasonable. Now we get an energy to Mew Mew and hopefully we get some Malamar action. Okay, we get quick ball. This guy. We treasure away that guy. Find Malamar. Now we can go for Nice Watch. He's as able to use, of course, the Zip Strika, which is the bad thing about this. So probably Tag Perch is even better in this scenario. Retreat. Yeah, Tag Perch followed it up. But maybe something powerful. We do survive the hit, so Miraculous Duo can come uh, in a better scenario. Pale Moon Jax is also an option probably have a switch card how many switches in the discard pile one switch two switch hmm probably has more yeah just gonna go for night watch so he doesn't have anything in the hand and we can two shot this guy oh he had Cynthia and Kellen interesting draw strike striker uh, yeah and now he whips on the energy or the supporter come on man Okay, he gets a Sycamore, actually research, insane. How amazing was that? Does he have some uh, Mellow Saucers tackle again? Mellow Lana, okay. Communication. Karachi goes away. Probably gonna see Snorl Max, Snorlax V Max. Energy is gonna go for uh, the Ultimate Ray. He is taking extra prize cards with that, but we get three prize cards with this. Okay. Probably gonna use the GX move now so we can heal completely. Uh, is that the correct plan though? Yeah, I guess so. Still needs to put Shrine in play, but we have Kadok as well. Maybe he has Vitality Band, who knows. Shuffle time. Yeah, we get the Big Charm. So this is gonna help us out a lot. Big Charm over here. Air Balloon, we can keep that in hand if he tries to get something stuck in the active. Miraculous Duo GX. Here we go. Healing all the damage. We have 300 HP. And the only thing we need to find is uh, the uh, 
drag yeah the dragonite here so we can uh, one hit KO a lot of opponents okay he gets extra prize cards per KO but uh, with big charm we do have 300 HP so we can uh, one hit KO this guy easily thanks to dragonite we have to oh there's a Marnie coming okay we sh we still have treasure it's not a it's not a big deal He can easily set up Snorlax, P-Max, which is going to be a huge issue for us. Brave Blade. 260. Okay. What to do? Treasure. Stamp is also not gonna happen anymore, so... Yay, they can see! <coughs> we were able to knock out his uh, big Zation, that means we can just uh, use Venom Shot for game. So uh, this is actually a fantastic build, try out Mew Mew for yourself. Let me know what you think about this particular decklist in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys with another TCG battle video soon enough. Peace out! Thank you